Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video, we are going to discuss the revised syllabus 2022 of class 9, Political Science. And we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter, the state government. So this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And my dear viewers, if you want all the other notes of history and political science chapters, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link in which you will get all the videos of question and answers. The video link will also be shared in the i button above. Now let's move ahead. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching it for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Let's get started with the first main. We have first main fill in the blanks with suitable words. First fill up the union of India comprises dash states and dash union territories. Answer is 29. 29 states and 6 union territories. Next, the dash nominates one Anglo-Indian to the state legislative assembly. Answer is governor. Next, the Karnataka Legislative Council comprises dash members. Answer is 75. Next, the state cabinet comprising the dash and the dash is the real executive. Answer is council of ministers and chief minister. Next, the governor is appointed by the dash. Answer is president. We have finished first main. Now let's move to the second main question and answers. First question is explain the structure of the legislative assembly. Answer. The members of the legislative assembly are elected by the people directly through elections. The strength of the assembly depends upon the population of the state. It should neither exceed 500 or below 60. However, the number of seats in small states is less. In Mizoram and Goa, there are 40 members each. Karnataka has 225 members. 224 members are elected, whereas one Anglo-Indian is nominated by the governor. Next question. Which fields are represented by the members of the Legislative Council? Answer. The fields which are represented by the members of the Legislative Council are local bodies, graduate constituencies, teachers constituencies, art, literature, education, social service, science, etc. Next question. What are the qualifications and the term of office of the governor? Answer. The qualifications of the governor are should be a citizen of India. He should not be less than 35 years of age. He should not hold any office of profit under the government. He should not be a member of either parliament or state legislature. The term of office of the governor is five years. Next question. Write a short note on the chief minister. Answer. The chief minister is the head of the state government. He is the repository of all the powers of the state. He is the head of the Council of Ministers. He should be a member of any one of the two houses. Even those who are not members of either house can become the chief minister. However, he has to become a member of any one house within six months. He prepares the list of ministers and allocates departments to the ministers. He has the power to remove the ministers. 
he plays a very important role in the formulation of policies. He has the power to coordinate and supervise the work of all departments. So these were the question and answers of this lesson. With this, we come to an end of this session. I hope these answers were helpful and informative for you all. If you found the video as helpful and if you liked it, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.